back in Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass, and here is one of the dungeons, well this is probably the dungeon I'm least looking forward to out of the entire damn bunch. So this is called the Asymmetrical Cavern, I believe. I went through here by mistake the first time around, I don't know if there were any puzzles I needed to do. If there were not, I'm just going to power through. Just be aware that the Rorschach enemy that's here is a major pain. Three, five, three, six, seven, eight, Nothing here is really worth fighting, even nor like under normal circumstances, let alone with almost level 80 team. So I'm kind of wondering if I could just blitz the boss or not. So I can hit him as hard as I hit the Prophet, that would be great and take a huge amount of the RNG out. In case you're wondering, I know what's here, it's just I don't know the specifics about it. All the loot is behind the boss, so your objective is just get to the other side. So this should put you in the illusion. Here we go. Once you start randomly teleporting, you know you're actually going the right way. And hopefully you can see why this place sucks. And that's not even factoring the enemies you'll encounter here. Here's what I want to show you. The fruit tastes like numbers. Ah, uh, don't you think? You thought we were somewhere else, didn't you? So I'm wondering if there's a certain tile I'm not supposed to step on. Hey, you got to see the Whisper Weaver there for a second. Hmm. Do I want to try it? The boss only has 9,000. Yeah, it's not worth it. Form will want to be the... Well, actually deal the most damage as Jimmy, believe it or not. So, the whole gimmick to him is just poison him. Let him die to poison. So, if he actually attacks Lars, I should be able to safely attack him, but think of him as a rad ghost on steroids. 
seriously. And I'm not using the proper weapon. Kinda curious, let's try that. Under no circumstances should you use magic. Attacking this thing is very dangerous. This guy can do all sorts of weird crap where he can nullify physical, magical, etc. That's why I was so hesitant to hit the guy. Thing. And overall, you probably best wait until late in the game just so you can one-shot him like that and not have to put up with this crap. Because that fight has tons of ways that it can go wrong. So we get the Advanced Calculus that was referenced on Information Guy Island, the 138 gun which deals 138 damage, and the Ink Block for the Geometric Set. So for the advanced calculus, you have to talk to one of the information guys to figure out how this works. It is right here. And they actually explain the formula to you. I don't remember what it was exactly. Let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, that will tell you. So we'll run to information guy island and look, I guess. But that is one of the really strong weapons for Andrew. So it's actually equal to what he has right now, it looks like. Oh yeah, the 138 gun I show. Here it is. This would be better earlier on in the game, because if you notice, literally everything I do does more than 200 damage. And the third thing was the ink blot. That's a reference to the Rorschach enemy that appears here. I actually don't know if there's anything I need to steal, now that I think about it. So we have the Spiraloid enemy who has the edge. That's not something you can actually keep. The Rorschach doesn't have anything. The Lumpagon does not have anything. Squiggles does not have anything. Neither does the Parallelicon. So, yeah, anyway, let's go down to the ink blot. So your whole reason for coming here is just for... this. So we have five pieces of the geometric, that means the six ones in the pyramid outside. So right over there is where we will be concluding Secret Meridian. Information Guy Island is actually fairly close. Do you have advanced calculus? So up for Andrew with mysterious properties. Consider those properties mysterious no longer. 
You have subtract Andrew's current HP from his max HP. Final digit of the solution is a hidden modifier for Andrew's physical hits. Yep. So, yeah. Overall, if you want to use him as a physical attacker, you can either use that one or that one thing that gives him 300 attack power. It's kind of up to you. But yeah, I want this to be its own video, so I don't have to put up with this crap anymore. Next time we'll be going into the pyramid and we are done with Secret Meridian. Joyous freaking day. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.